This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Full Front Kishakam, and these are the Sony Xperia XZ. And Sony has sent us three of these different colors. So now we have the mineral black, platinum, and forest blue in three different colors. So let's dive right in. Let me go ahead and unbox these guys. And here we go, three phones here, and here are internals of the packaging. So inside the box, by the way, the box is pretty clever. You get to see all the markings in the inside of the box. So you see those trademark statements in the inside of the box. So the outside of the box is really, really clean, except for the IMEI sticker. All right, so inside the packaging is a manual. That's very simple. It's got a one quick start guide. And um, here we go, one quick start guide and the absorption rate reflet, and that's pretty much it. There isn't really a thick guide or anything. And here is a charger, and Sony, again, included a 1.5A charger. While the device itself is capable of Quick Charge 3.0, they included a very underwhelming charger. Now, this is something that they should get better on. And here's an earphones, and um, it's not exactly fancy, it's just a earphone. And here is a cable, and uh, and this is not a micro USB cable. As you can see the, at the rear of the packaging, this guy now adopts a USB Type C first in the Sony devices. So it's got 23 megapixel camera, 13 megapixel camera. We'll get to that later. And um, the cable is over there, and um, it just looks like any other generic USB Type C cable. So we're not going to look much deeper on that part. And here are three devices in three different colors. Again, platinum, forest blue, and mineral black. Now those are a bunch of names here, and we'll go ahead and remove the plastic. Alrighty, now here we are, three different colors over there, and as you can see, starting from the Xperia X, uh, Xperia X Performances, Xperia X, and XA, they all have the NFC reader on top of the phone, and there is a little sticker denoting that you read an NFC from there, instead of the rear panel, which is an Alcalado aluminum, uh, whatever that is, that's a, that's a new material that Sony has adopted, of course it's not, whatever it is, and uh, since it's a metal, the signals can't go through the metal backplace, so now NFC is on the front side, of course it's this is a sticker, so you can remove that anytime you want. And that's pretty much it of the front side of the Xperia XC. So there is a silver one, and here is the forest blue one. The forest blue ones, there's a little bit curved 2.5D glass on the front side, and a Sony logo, and Coming to there is a fingerprint reader enabled uh, power key, except for America. Um, I don't know why, but probably some kind of patent issues, but American units do not get to get the native uh, fingerprint reader, although there is a saying that you can unlock it. But anyway, there is a volume rocker, two-step camera shutter key, dedicated camera shutter key, and also the backplate looks like this, and you can see how the color changes depending on the lighting, and it's pretty good, although I liked it in the photo better and there is a camera that sony claims that this is the best camera that they created ever and that's what everybody says there's a color sensor in the five axis image stabilizer and the just overall it just looks good for now and the xperia logo and that's pretty much it for the forest blue one and here comes the mineral black so mineral black there is also again the dual stereo speaker a sony trademark and a 13 megapixel front facing camera there and also their fingerprint reader and the rear panel of the mineral black looks like that and here it is with the mineral black uh in my personal take mineral black looks really really good it looks gorgeous while the platinum looks really good and the forest blue is it's got really distinctive paint job on top of it so here we go i personally am a sony user i've have had the z3 for almost two years now and i can't say that i'm 100 percent happy with it but i generally liked it and here as a comparison is a z3 right next to the xz so let's put the similar colors there and if you prefer a brighter tone here is a white z3 don't ask me why I have to. Uh, white Z3, and here is a Platinum XZ. If you want to see the rear, it compares like that. They share most of the design elements, pretty much squarish, and they have the camera lens in the same spot and everything. But while the Z3 had the glass on the front and back, the XZ has an alkylator aluminum on the back while having a curved 2.5D glass on the front. And that looks really, really good. And the grip's pretty nice. And while the Z3 felt like it's quite delicate and I was always scared of breaking the rear glass because I've seen a lot of people breaking their front or the rear glasses. Now this 
feels a lot more sturdier and um, I don't really have the fear for now at least of dropping this and breaking both of the glasses because there is only one side of breaking the glass. Just kidding. And you can see the USB Type-C port on the bottom which is reversible of course and the microphone. On the left hand side there is a SIM card tray which you can pull down just like that and here they have a slot for the micro SD card slot and the nano SIM card. Uh, the dual SIM version share the SIM card slot for your micro SD expansion, so we, they call that the hybrid SIM card slot. Not a big fan of it. I like the two SIM cards and the micro SD anyway. And um, they get to have the 64 gigabyte of storage, while the single SIM variant get to have the 32 gigabyte of storage. Uh, rest of the things assured are pretty much generic for now. Uh, 2016, it's got Snapdragon 820 quad core processor, 3 gb of RAM, which is a bit of a shame. They should have added the 4 gigs of RAM there, but anyway, we can live with that, although I'm not a fan of 3 gigs. And here is a little size comparison, 4.7 inches of an iPhone 7 sits right there. And here's a Galaxy Note 7 at 5.5 inches. There is a little case, but it's really thin one, so you can just deal with it. The size is pretty much the standard along with the pretty signature-ish Sony designed ideas. It's, they call it the Omnibalance. So the top and bottom are balanced out with their sizes and both left and right are balanced and top and bottom are balanced as well. So which Ever way that you look at it is most likely going to be symmetric. With that being said, let's go ahead and set this guy up. Here we are at the Sony's main launcher and they are known to have a very light themed um, skins on top of the Android. So it's running an Android Marshmallow over there and oops, they're running Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. We probably would get an update to Nougat and um, that's pretty much the basics. Uh, and Sony interface has always been the same and let's just try the camera for now. At the first launch of the camera, you'll be asked if you want to save the location just like any other phones and switch mode there and a um, bunch of notifications. So here is an interface at resolution. You can go up to 23 megapixels and now this guy supports 4K video shooting which Xperia X performance had been missing for some weird reason. Now they added it back up for the XZ. And on top of that, this is also waterproof just like any other Sony flagship smartphones. This guy has the IP68 water and dust resistance. So that's the basics of the Xperia XZ. It's the new flagship from Sony. It's got Snapdragon 820, 3 gigs of RAM, and 2900 millimeters of battery. We will see how it performs in real life very soon in upcoming videos. Thank you always for watching, and these are the new flagships from Sony. You can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and we'll see you guys later. Ciao.